In the previous video on the Bezier tool, I showed you how to draw curves through the outline of a shape, and we had little points that you would click on to help you stay in bounds. This tutorial is going to be similar, but we're going to lose the training points. Let's start by selecting our Bezier pen tool, keyboard shortcut P. Over in the inspector palette, make sure the fill is turned off and that the stroke is somewhere around five. Click at the start of the outline and keep clicking through the outline as we did before. We can finish off the curve by hitting the escape key. Let's go back to the tools palette and choose the Bezier Anchor Select tool, keyboard shortcut A. The Anchor Select tool is used for selecting a single anchor and moving it around. But if we hold down the Option key while using this tool, it will allow us to reset the anchor points. And by clicking and dragging, the control handles will appear. So hold down on the Option key and click and drag on your anchors and smooth out your lines. If we want to add an anchor to a line, select the Bezier pen tool using keyboard shortcut P. Hold down on the shift key and click anywhere on the line. You'll see a green dot indicating where your anchor will be placed. There's another way to add more anchors to a line and that's to use the shape Bezier Stuff, Add More Points menu item. This is a bit of a shotgun approach because it doubles the number of anchors on our path, but it's a great way to quickly add more points if you want better control of what your path looks like. To delete an anchor, click on it with the Anchor Select tool, keyboard shortcut A. Then hit the Delete key. To select multiple anchors at the same time, Hold down the shift key while clicking on the anchors. You can then hit the delete key to delete multiple anchors. So this tutorial covered some of the basics of using the Bezier pen tool. Be sure to check out Acorn's written documentation for more tutorials and opportunities to practice using this tool.